up all you art one tenors? Probably just Rachel. I'd like to welcome you to a new episode of uh, Pain Point Out. And I know you guys have been wondering what's going to be the theme for the close this week. And it's going to be, boom, you guessed it, Mitt Tank Top. Yeah, Mitt. It is uh, airy. Shows off the guns. You know, got to show them off a little bit. Uh, but it's itchy. Yeah, it's really itchy. It's, it feels like a sheep is laying on you. I admire the guy for the song choice because I touched a lot of boob because of that one song and for that reason it's going to be our video breakdown oh now this is my favorite part it's where he looks like he's like lost his sex reception so he's like oh I gotta get on the table am I sexy now? good good he probably has boost mobile they don't have 4G string service yet Oh man, and when he's throwing his jacket, my heart starts racing. Oh, sing it. Oh man, that is hot. Oh. Alright, so let me stop now before you start singing Hanson and I just completely lose it. Let's go to our next video. I hate when people blast house music in the car. That shit belongs in the house. Don't fucking bring it on the street. It's terrible. I hate when I'm about to eat cereal and I've already poured it into my bowl and I realize I'm out of fucking milk. I hate when somebody takes my seat in a lecture. I hate when students ask stupid questions. And yes, there is such a thing as a stupid question, second grade teacher. I hate when people say awk instead of awkward. I find it awkward that you can't pronounce a two syllable word like an adult. I hate women who constantly check themselves out in their mirror at red lights. Ah, the classic I hate video. It's not that this is any better or worse than the others. It's just, I really hate, I hate videos. It's like you getting into the mind of a woman on her period. And why would you ever want to do that? So for all of you with I hate videos, here's a tip. First take some Advil and get a heating pad. Heard that really helps loosen up the muscles. And then do what all real men do and bottle up your emotions until it finally erupts in physical violence and you go chase down the mailman and beat him unconscious because he gave you your neighbor's mail. So my person's name is Michael Starks Jr. And what I really did to get it was I typed in Mike Williams. I think that was the name I originally wanted. But then I found a picture of someone else, Mike Williams, and I was like, okay, I'm going to use this picture. Look at this guy. Which I don't, that's probably not what we're supposed to do for this project. But I wanted a real picture. I didn't want to like make an avatar and stuff that made it weird. So, I'll probably take all this stuff down so Mike Williams doesn't find me out. He's like a city councilman from Oakland. All his pictures, he's dressed nice. Uh, he's just really active in the community. That's kind of what my main focus was, was on him. So it was actually pretty fun. I, just like most of these projects, I feel like I didn't have enough time because it's like, I'm doing a bunch of homework, like getting ready for my senior design project. And then, like, on the side, I have to, like, oh, crap, I have to do something for this. Like, last second of every day, like, before I go to sleep, like, okay, let me do something. So I wasn't, honestly, wasn't able to, like, fully entrench myself and, like, live like Michael Starks or something. What I did get from it, like, one of the immediate things I got from it was that I looked up, like, a lot of local news and, like, things people would care about if they were part of the like an activist for the community so like things about raising taxes a little bit things about um, the proposing of building parks like things that just build up the community I was like not that I'm not interested in that stuff I never really knew where to look for it and I still didn't I just looked really hard I never really looked very hard for it before so that was cool I'm usually just getting my news from either TV and then when I really want to learn about something then on like one of the big newspapers or something but like I looked up the Oakland Tribune and there was like a lot of stuff and it was a lot easier than I thought it would be I had to get super emotional <laughs> uh, I just got disappointed in myself a little bit because I know that there is someone like Michael Starks out there that is you know working to help his community and doing stuff and I was like and I it's something I really like want to do like it's been 
I'm not gonna spill my heart and dreams right now. It'll, it'll take all, take like a whole another video. But as yeah, something to do with homeless people, like I, I kind of just want to work with them. I feel like Michael Starks is like, oh, he's actually doing it. While me, it's just uh, a thought I've had for a long time, and it disappointed. I was disappointed in myself because I've just only been thinking it, no action. And it's like, okay, yeah, you could have good thoughts, but what the hell is it, is it good for if you're not actually putting it into play? I mean, I plan to. I know my circumstances are kind of different because I'm in school, but it, I could still be doing something to maybe help me make connection to further my goal, and I really haven't been doing that at all. So this might actually, hopefully, give me a little bit of a push and <laughs> say, wake the fuck up, Don. So at first I thought it'd be cool, okay, let me just do something totally different than me. So I was like, I'm going to do like a middle-aged white guy from the South. I started wondering like, okay, what am I going to post? How am I going to make his like, how am I going to make him come to life online? I had nothing. I, I think I have like no frame of reference for like that type of person. So it was just me. Like I started to like just say stereotypes and I just, I just thought it was stupid. I thought it was uncomfortable for me. Like I was like, this is just the southern stereotype I have. I don't even necessarily believe it, but it's like, what else do I got to go off of? So, I changed that quick. I don't know. I, I didn't think I was going to get anything from the project. It was just going to be, how many southern stereotypes can I post on Tumblr? Yeah. So I couldn't really uh, get anyone of my friends or anything to add me on Facebook. I think they're kind of like weird about it. My Facebook life is basically only everything that I've typed in, so not that exciting. Yet. So once I actually skipped the southern white guy, I was able to, like, I don't know, express myself through him a lot easier because it was something I could kind of relate to, but still not me at all. I was surprised because I don't think of myself at all as someone who gets really embarrassed, but I realized that the stuff I was posting for Michael Starks, I wouldn't post under my own name, even though they were my thoughts. Like one time, like one thing I did was I wrote like a little slam poetry kind of thing, which I oh, I like and I think is cool, but I've never done myself, and I think it's kind of out of a uh, I don't know. I guess I've well, my whole life is like I'm I'm more funny, lighthearted, don't get too serious. And so I'm still uncomfortable with being totally serious with everybody. Like, I deal with my family and stuff like that. I have no problem. But, like, to put it out in the world for all of my friends on Facebook, I feel like it'd be, like, such a switch up. I don't necessarily know how it would be received. When I do something kind of out of that norm, I usually just keep it to myself. So posting it was a little different. So I'm still not exactly sure on what you guys mean that the person becoming real. But I guess my best guess at it is that because I'm expressing myself through Michael Starks. It's a fake picture with real thoughts and feelings and emotion uh, kind of filling him out, which is basically all we are besides our bodies. All our identity and everything is like tied up in our thoughts and feelings and everything else that I was giving to him. And everything was coming from real people that I admire and um, the VR installations last week were they were cool they the presentations were kind of unorganized you'd say it just seemed like the first run at it so it wasn't like they were what they were saying was bad it was just they kind of stumbled through it but the actual galleries were they looked really good I liked them. my favorite one I think was the one it was just a had a spiral staircase, but it had the bone, like a lot of the bones uh, paintings. I don't remember what the guy's name was. And they had a lot of reason, like it was the paintbrush building with the pen. They just had a, everything they did had like a reason, so it was really cool to hear all their different reasons for how they made their gallery. The lecture on Tuesday, it was cool. It was like the creating culture kind of thing about the remakes and stuff like that and how Glenn compared it to people singing on stoops, I guess. It's kind of a community activity. Singing someone's song, just like using someone's song. 
Well, it, I think it is kind of like the new version of that good activity. Yes, it builds bonds. It gives you guys close. You'll have something to remember forever if you have that video. Oh, and I'm glad I was talking about the I guess the idea behind CC Mixer. I thought that was really intriguing, but that I didn't think it would work because in order to get music that we like and like such a wide range a lot of people would have to be committed to it and if a lot of people are committed to it and like your music it's more than likely that you're you would like to get paid for it like I have no problem with creating music put it on CC Mixer now but once I see like damn I'm good I want someone to pay me because then I feel like I deserve it so I feel like it's gonna be hard to get away from someone to ever just be altruistic and say, nah, I'm doing it for the cause because I don't I want people to hear my music and not get paid for it. Because I can just say if they pay for it, they can still hear my music. It's not that expensive, you know. If they really want a great idea. I feel like it will never get too too big, but it could be bigger. And which would still be an accomplishment itself. Uh, that's about it. Well, it's nothing really to say about that one. There was a thorough analysis. The guy's good looking as hell. And uh, so we should probably get to playing a clip that I can make fun of. Once I get my baby hairs pressed down, they ain't gonna tell me nothing. Do you, boo boo. You do you, I'ma do me. I don't mess with white boys, but Channing Tatum can get it. Ooh, Asahi Berry do sound like a good name. Come here, little Asahi. Shoot, I really just want to be a real housewife of Atlanta. Hey girl, I don't really even mess with robots that much, but um, Bender from Futurama, he got extendo arms. Ooh girl, I don't even mess with Jewish dudes like that, but the entire media, ooh, they can get it. More East Chestnut, I see you. Dark chocolate, ooh boy, you 87% cow cow. She's a damn good actor, but let's put 20 seconds on the clock and see how many funny jokes I can make. She's at least cuter than half of Long Beach State's basketball team. <laughs> it's really good to see Laura Winslow from Family Matters acting again. <laughs> this is really long hair for a black girl. She must be mixed. <laughs> Maybe she's French, that's why she's so hairy. <laughs> oh, time's up. What up haters, welcome to Epic Meal Time, Art 110 edition. What do you know about cooking? What do you know about fridges? You don't know shit, son. Epic meal time when I want to bacon. That's weird. I wonder if he knows that a bird follows him around and chirps whenever he cusses. What do you know about $5 movies? Street Fighter? $5 movie. Tortilla, chili, beans, tapatio, Tequila. What you know about a stereotypical Mexican meal? What up, haters? Welcome to Epic Meal Time Art 110 Edition. Here we go. We got Dan the Man, the sweet and sour boss. And the guy with the glasses who doesn't say a word the whole time is awesome. He's like the Mexican teller. Or like Helen Keller. He might wear those glasses because he's black. <laughs> So they're eating with their hands. They were at the store for that long and they couldn't pick up some silverware. Join us next time, punk ass mo- <laughs> Next time, we eat Tumblr. Next time, we eat Second Life. Next time, we eat Vlogs. Next time, we eat Clicker Questions. Next week, we eat Glenn. Did he just say he was gonna eat Glenn? Next week, we eat Glenn. Is he coming on to him? I think so. I think someone has an admirer. Can't say I blame him though because those lectures are riveting. That's it for me tonight, so stay tuned for a new episode of K and Peel. Oh, that's still in the air? Ah, it'll be off in a little bit. Who cares?